good morning everybody. It is Saturday. It is Saturday today. It is. That, that, that's the first time that I've got the date right. <laughs> or the day right. And I think it's the 4th. So, happy birthday America. And uh, come on England. England play Ukraine today. Um, we probably won't see it because I don't even know what time it's on. Because we're a little divorced from reality. Um, that was nice. Had a good night's sleep. And now we're heading off to the Rollwright Stones in Warwickshire. Uh, on, and we're en route to go and see some of Alan's family today, which will be nice. In our rule of six. Um, so that will be lovely. Weather's not all that... Well, it's not bad, but it's, a, it's just a little bit damper than it has been. So uh, we'll see what uh, what the weather has in store for us today. struck me that it's very very different how we treat our dead as to how the people of the past would have treated the dead how they would have left them for say 30 years or so and then uh, just rearranged them move the bones you know things like that I suppose almost like putting them in an ossuary <laughs> stones must be the long barrow that was described as part of the burials and they believe the king's stone uh, replaced wooden markers to mark this out as a burial site maybe as people traveled along what may have been an original ridgeway or ridge path that later on the Romans took on and improved because it's definitely a Roman road um, 
we've got some medieval reenactors that I'm going to go and get some footage of if I can and they let me but yeah there was a medieval encampment or an enclosure you know like a farm much much later So the kingstone here was meant to be a, a man who the witch said to him, if you can walk for six steps and not see Long Compton, then uh, you'll be the king of England. So off he strode and he did his fifth step and he did his sixth step and then she threw him into a long barrow and uh, turned him into a stone. And she said, you will never be the king of England. Well, that was a really good stop. Um, always interesting to see these places. I don't get the truly mystical side of it like Helen does. I'm not a believer in ley lines and stuff like that. If that's what you want to think, that we were probably in tune with nature a little bit more back in our ancient times, you can believe that. But it's just like believing in any other faith. And that's what I like to see. I do like to see people's expression of their belief. Just to take the time to build something. And I don't see these henges and these stone circles as anything different from building a mighty mosque or a fantastic cathedral. Mmm, tea and crumpets by the side of the road. Alan, they're not, they're not crumpets. What are they? The scones, you fool. You've already eaten half of one. Yeah, it's a scone. That's the word. I'm so distracted by the sugar and the sweetness <laughs> and the lovely view and the fact that it's hot. It's hot. It is very, very warm. I might have to get changed again. Yeah, we might have a thunderstorm later, but we'll see. I'm going to eat me scone. Well, here we are. We've arrived at the Gate Inn at Neverwhitaker. It's a great big car park. I'm assuming that sometimes they allow you to park on the grass or maybe they'll ask us to park on the grass because there are a few track marks going right the way over. But I'd be quite happy to stand in on the hard stand in just there. Looks a nice pub. Uh, got some great smells coming out of it. They're already cooking. Uh, don't know how busy it's going to get later when England start playing at 8 o'clock, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. 